So when I played for Arsenal Women, um, we had a situation where the men started to sponsor us. So like we'd get, they'd pay some of our wages. We're talking like 10, 12 years ago now. But so I was lucky enough to have Thierry Henry, Dennis Burkamp and Fio Walcott um, like one year after each other, we'd take a picture, they'd put it in the club <coughs> shop and it was brilliant, you know, just to be able to speak to him. And, you know, I'm a Manchester United fan. Everybody knows that, but I still respect quality. And the fact that I used to go to Highbury, you know, every single home game, I used to go there just to watch Dennis Burkamp and Thierry Henry do things that other people I feel like couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunate enough. I mean, whatever team you support, the quality of the Invincibles was on a different level. So, but Thierry Henry, I mean, unfortunately, he scored a lot of goals against Manchester United, I remember. Absolute corkers as well, by that the way. That one when he flipped up at Highbury and it's just like one of those things, you, you almost want to clap. That's how good he really was and he's against your team. So, brilliant player and it was great that I was able to, you know, spend some time at the training ground, um, when I was able to watch them train sometimes and, and things like that. Mm. Um, is it easy for you to describe just how you feel about Thierry yeah, and Yeah, I mean, listen, an absolute hero. <laughs> I mean, talk about, for me, the greatest player to ever play in the Premier League, things that he did. And I sometimes, at, at, at times, feel like he gets disrespected. Like, because he's now retired... People will start trying to put other people above him. Like, well, no, I think he was better. Well, now if you go back and watch highlights of Thierry playing, as you mm -hmm. said there, the way he used to play against United, some of the, the goals he scored, he's by far the best player we've ever seen in this country. And I, I get it. People talk about Cristiano Ronaldo, and listen, his last year at Manchester United is. On Don't a get planet. me started. I mean, uh, Ronaldo but Ballon to Henri. But in the Premier League, Thierry was better. No. You played against him four times. Is that right? Thierry. Four, four times. Yeah. I think it's four times. Apparently, it was four times you played against him. So. What was it like, if you can remember one of them? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, listen, I'd always look at him on the other end of the pitch and just think, oh, my goodness, like, mm. some of the stuff that he'd do. But I think the biggest thing was when I was captain at Charlton and he was captain, and just seeing them walk down, we're, talk we're talking now 2007, so, like, they're, they're very, very good. And just mm. seeing them walk down and just think, oh, my goodness, and then he's there. But he's he was always bubbly on the pitch, always talking to you. If he scored a goal, be like, oh, good goal, good finish. Mm. That's, That's when you know a player's on a different level when you've got fellow professionals that are about to play feeling that way yeah. you know because people often think footballers they do support teams you know professional mm -hmm. footballers grow up supporting other teams doesn't mean when they play for their current team they don't want their team to win but to hear Darren say that you know when he saw them how it made him feel yeah. it's amazing of course different though when you when you, you line up in that white spur shirt and you look at yeah. an Arsenal that's <laughs> like a traitor <laughs> nah not at all you know what? it didn't even and people often ask me it didn't even cross my mind but I scored against Arsenal for Spurs yeah. so it's I didn't um, miss the fact that you were disagreeing with Darren a second ago when we were talking about Ronaldo Henri. Yeah, you Ronaldo is for me my greatest ever player for me. But again, we go back to ever? comparison. Yeah, but Messi. we go back. To, yeah, Ooh. we go back to comparisons. But I think it's impossible to compare players. You know, I really do. When people compare Messi to Maradona and Pele to Ronaldo, you know, all those different comparisons, you can't compare them. We just have to appreciate the quality. I think Messi's quality, but I love Ronaldo. I oh, whoa, the disrespect there. I think it's quality. But I, is, Ronaldo, but I love Ronaldo. But I love Ronaldo. He's Man United, you know. And but I, I, I think opinions are great, and I, I don't think don't disagree with you. So you think Ronaldo's the best player to ever play in the Premier League while he was in the Premier League? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. And so, clip that. I know this is going to get. Oh. You always love putting Listen, me on the his, spot. His last year, he won the Ballon d'Or. So you, you cannot argue with that, mm. Ronaldo. But in terms of while he was in the Premier League, Thierry, from start to finish, was the best player we've ever seen. Not the very start. Not the very start, but I know you're saying for a first long, 12 games. But for, neither for, was, a long, for a yeah, longer period of time. Cristiano so wasn't was... great when he first came in, but you saw glimpses of what he could be. But then people are going to have a different opinion. Some people might say Alan Shearer, you know, and that wouldn't be, you can't disagree with that either. So yeah. Darren's thinking, no, I want to disagree with it. I do. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.